Hello guys, my name is Angela Perez and today I'm going to be showing you a technique that goes by frequency separation technique. Um, this technique I first came across on a thread on modelmayhem.com which it was called High Pass Socks and um, I'm just making a video to show people on a very simple way on how to do it. Okay, What frequency separation does is that allows you to split your image in two parts one that allows you to work on just color and the other one that allows you to work on just texture so we'll begin I have my background layer selected I need to make two copies of that background layer I'll hit control J twice now I have layer one copy and layer one I'm gonna select my layer one and I'm going to name that low frequency and layer one copy, I'm going to name it high frequency. I will select my low frequency layer. I will go to filter, blur, gagation blur, and I will select a radius of about 10 pixels. You can select lower or higher, it's just your preference. I like to set it to 10 pixels. I will hit OK. Now I will select my high frequency layer. I will go to image, apply image. Here since I'm working on an 8-bit image, my settings will be different than on a 16-bit image. I will provide you with the screen cap of what the settings will look like for a 16-bit image. But right now we're focusing on working on an 8-bit. So I will go to layer and I will select low frequency. My blended mode should be subtract my scale will be 2 and my offset will be 128 we need to make sure that the invert box is unchecked and we'll hit OK now I go back to my high frequency layer and on the blending mode it will be set to linear light so that's that's it for the frequency separation right now our image has been split into two the low frequency will allow you to work on color and the high frequency will allow, to, allow you to work on texture. What can we do with this technique? Well, we can do a lot of things such as contrast, sharpening, smoothing, you name it. Adding texture from m millions of things. <clears throat> so, but this basically is just how to separate the layer. Um, just so I can show you uh, uh, one of the techniques that I use a lot of people like to work on skin so that's what I'm gonna be focusing on um, if you wanted to smooth the skin and remove blemishes with this technique then you can follow the next steps I will select my low frequency layer and I'm gonna make a copy of that I'm gonna hit control J make a copy of the low frequency I'm gonna rename this smooth skin I will go to filter, blur, you can select either gagation blur or surface blur. I'm going to select surface blur just because it's an 8-bit image and it doesn't take that long and I just like the look better. And we'll hit OK. I will zoom in. We want to make a mask of this so that you're just only working on the skin. So to make a, a black fill mask, I'm going to hit Alt and my layer, my layer button right here, and that will give you a mask that's filled with black. Now I'm going to select a white brush, and I'm going to paint on the skin. What this is doing is that it's smoothing all the colors and the shadows and highlights and all of that, but the skin texture is not being touched at all. The skin texture remains exactly the same as the original. So you're not smoothing texture or pores or anything like that. I'm going to zoom in so that you can take a closer look. If I toggle this on and off, you can see how I smooth the skin 
the shadows have been smooth, the highlights have been smooth, and everything, but the texture is exactly the same as their original. So that will be the step to smooth the skin. <clears throat> if you want to remove blemishes using this this technique, you will go to your high frequency layer right here, the one that is gray, your high frequency layer, and you will do all your cloning and your healing on this layer. So I will hit, the, I will grab the healing brush, and I will have a sample to current layer that will allow me to only work on the high frequency. And now we're removing blemishes without, without um, touching the color at all. So basically, this is just working on the texture, on the surface texture that's above the color. There are a lot of different ways on how you can do this, but this is, um, I think, the simplest way to explain it and the easiest. And that's it. And now we're going to see our before and after. And this was by just working on two different, on, on the low frequency by smoothing and on the high frequency by removing blemishes. If you want it to, if you if you wanted your texture to be um, stronger, sharper, you can always sharpen uh, <clears throat> your image using the high frequency layer as well. This will allow you to only sharpen your texture. If you wanted to do that, you can just go to filter, sharpen. Um, you can use whatever sharpening technique you desire, but I use smart sharpen. And that will allow you to sharpen your image, just your, just the texture on your image, so it will have, so it will be stronger. And that's about it, guys. Um, it's very simple. If you have any questions, you can message me, and I will be feel free to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the video. And this is not a technique for everybody, but it's just one of the many techniques that is out there. So I hope you liked it. Bye-bye.